Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to part three of the series of the throwback Road to Advanced Warfare, whatever you want to call it. Just going to call it the throwback series. But uh, this gameplay right here is another Nuketown. This is going to be the last Nuketown gameplay I think I'm going to have for you guys. Uh, this gameplay is from two years ago. This is from when I broke my hand during football season. Uh, I had an injury that fractured my wrist and ended up fracturing my hand. So this gameplay was me playing with a fractured hand if you're wondering why i'm using a light machine gun on demolition nuketown well if you guys ever had a broken hand you get a huge hand cast and pretty much the only game mode you can really play is where you don't have to jump around where you just point and shoot so that's why we went the demo this was two years ago in the nuketown 24 7 this was in about august uh this gameplay i actually remember very very greatly everyone in this lobby is running lethal this was the best i cut out the first round uh just for the sole purpose that well because fuck it I didn't want you guys to see the first round because it's a pretty long gameplay. It came out to about 12 minutes. I didn't want to cut. I didn't want to show all that. So uh, pretty much the first seven minutes was 69 kills. Uh, the kills don't really pick up till the second round because what ended up happening in the first game, everyone ended up quitting. It's a demolition nuketown. Uh, demolition is so much fun if if uh, if people don't push spawns. Even if you're solo, you can really have a really good time getting a whole bunch of kills. But I remember this gameplay uh, very very greatly. This was one of this was probably my fastest 200 plus i only ever dropped four 200 pluses but this is the one that i actually saved and this was my fastest one that i ever did this was a gameplay was absolutely amazing i remember being so excited when i got it i was running a uh, orbital vsat vtol and uh lodestar if i was running probably vtol lodestar swarm this could have easily been a 250 plus possibly possibly not going to stress it here could have been a 300 but on the first part of the video i did die a whole bunch off of a bunch of i did die off uh, one off my streaks a couple times but the people that in the video it's cut right to it besides everyone running lethals in the gameplay it's absolutely funny uh it was my boy unrated monster me and unrated monster go all the way back to modern warfare 3. he's still on my friends list but he doesn't play uh call of duty anymore he just does a lot of 2k and all that uh, i originally met him in modern warfare 3. we joined a clan together back in modern warfare 3 called i believe it was mhc most hated crew and we just uh rode that clan just so that way we could have a party to play with and so that we could uh, do Clan Wars, see what Clan Wars is about. So I remember that. Shout out to you, Unrated. Miss you, brother. Then, you know, Regulators Gold introduced him yesterday. Uh, really great gameplay. When we were making this game, I believe, yeah, I had the broken hand. Uh, this game was done after football practice late at night. It was like 10 o'clock at night when I got this gameplay after practice. I had a, like, a really boring day. So I was like, fuck it, let's just do some spawn trap. And this is what we did in Nuketown 24-7. Now let's move to the next, Alessandro26. I met him all the way back in Black Ops 1. Uh, me and him have been, actually since Modern Warfare 2, me and him have been boys since Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what ended up happening to him was he ended up getting like, uh, he ended up getting his girlfriend pregnant and he was like really young when he got her pregnant and he ended up stopped playing COD and he ended up getting into an argument with uh, one of his friends that I was friends with and then he ended up just deleting everybody that he originally played with. I, I would, I, I don't know if I would add him back because he ended up turning out to be, um, he he was really ungrateful for the people he played, who he played with and who helped him get gameplays and stuff. So he was really uh, ungrateful for that. So probably wouldn't add him back, but he was one of the OG squad members. And Brianna 14, I was with Brianna 14. Me and him been friends since the beginning of Black Ops 2. We play Call of Duty Ghost together a lot, quite, quite a bit. Uh, he was one of the first players that I met in Black Ops 2 that played without toughness. He has 100k kills uh, in, in, in the game. He should have around 200k, 250k, about where I was. But he ended up stopped playing because he did a lot of trophy hunting. He's really big into campaign games. So uh, campaign game modes. I think he's going to stop that now, now that Advanced Warfare is coming out. But if you guys ever want someone to play with, he plays all the time. He's usually solo because he plays when I'm not in school. I mean, he plays when I'm when I'm in school and stuff. So if you guys ever uh, want want to play with uh, somebody that's actually really good at the game, plays OBJ, goes for wins, gets pretty good gameplays, go ahead and add him. That'll totally help help you out a lot. So add him, have fun. Uh, if, you, if, if you send a friend request, be like, cool dude told told me to add you. So go ahead and add him. He's really he's a really cool guy. He's funny as hell too. Um, let's go into the next guy, AN Beast 10. Sorry, I don't really remember you too much, bro, but I do think you were Alessandro's friend. Uh, you were on someone else's account. I know you were on your name, but it was a sub name, so a name you already made before. But I don't really remember you. I just remember I played uh, the Nuketown 24/7 that entire weekend with with you. I have no idea who the fuck you were, but you uh, you knew how to control spawns. So I'll give you I'll give you the credit there. But it this gameplays like this should just set the tone 
in the whole per oh by the way this is when i used to play on like a sick sensitivity i had a broken hand so i couldn't turn fast enough so i had to i had to have my sensitivity up so i played on a six back then so back in what i was saying before was these kind of gameplays should really uh get get the point across that lethal kill streaks are not really hard to use especially on wider more open maps like for example if uh, you get you get a whole nine man party they run support for you on a map like Turbine. You're running a uh, Lodestar, K9 Swarm. It's a guarantee 200 plus. Uh, lobbies, if you have a six man, I think it's, people make a big deal about 200 pluses regardless if it's a six man, it's a solo. It doesn't matter if it's demo. It doesn't matter what map, it doesn't matter what mode. It's just like, I, I really do believe that when there's a six man, and I understand that I'm in a six man, there's a certain level of like, uh, respect that's not really there like the less people you have in your party and the more kills you get the better your gameplay is really going to be and that's one thing that I've really come come to notice as uh, time's gone on obviously we saw at Modern Warfare 3 people getting double Moabs triple Moabs all that stuff and, and then you come into this game people getting double nuclear triple nuclears no one got over triple nuclear except sniper who got a quad and he did he did it solo and it's People say that solo gameplays are harder to get than party gameplays. I, I guess you're right in some in some perspectives. Um, hitting 200 pluses though, with the way the kill streaks are nowadays in COD, it's uh, it's not really hard to hit a 200 plus anymore, solo or not solo. Obviously, due to how easy the streaks are to use these days, if you do play uh, solo, that obviously if obviously if if you play uh if you play solo uh 200 plus is still 200 plus but if you play in a party these days a 200 plus is just still uh, not as crazy a gameplay as it used to be like if you ever got a 200 plus in a game like cod 4 modern warfare 3 even black ops 1 for that matter modern warfare 2 it was a big deal but with uh black ops 2 200 pluses there i think it was because there was like so many of them that people kind of just lost uh lost respect for the 200 plus me i have a lot of respect for 200 pluses whether they're in a party or not obviously if they're solo it's even better but if you're not solo it doesn't matter 200 200 kills in one game is 200 kills in one game that's really crazy when when you think about it but this video actually was in august this was the last uh nuketown they did uh, I think two years ago, this was the last Nuketown they did before Ghost, just like the other one. This Nuketown lasted a whole week from a Sunday to a Sunday. So we ended up getting uh, these gameplays back to back. Uh, the one I had uh, yesterday, no, the one I had the other day, I believe the 174 and one, I think was a Nuketown 24 seven. I'm not quite too sure though, but there's the 210 to four. I had 210 kills and only 7,000 score. It's just all kill streak kills. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy, Cool Dude. Really quick, 200 plus. Hope you enjoyed uh, tomorrow's video. I have no idea what it's going to be. I want to do the 56 gun streak with the executioner. Hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. 12 off that 500 for the face reveal and the giveaway. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy.